they'll come out with a more with a harder hand and deal with people a little more harshly tonight, I would expect. All right, Jakari, I know that Joe's having to secure the vehicle because a bunch of media has now come to the site where you're at. That's kind of how media does. They flock and kind of start stacking up. So we'll talk to him about the military Delta Force folks uh, that he got video of with you uh, coming up later. Uh, go get some sleep, get some rest as much as you can for tonight, and we'll have more epic coverage, real journalism with live streaming, not edited, so everybody can make their own decision tonight. Uh, starting at dark at prisonplanet.tv. Normally, you've got to be a subscriber to see the nightly news, but we're going to have that up as a free feed again tonight, both off our prisonplanet.tv feed and off of your Ustream live feed as backup tonight, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv. Thank you so much, Shikari Jackson. All right. Thank you, Alex. Folks, it's your chance now. You've heard for an hour and 15 minutes my view, Jakari's view, Joe's view. I want to hear your view coming up in the next segment. Can anyone defend mindlessly shooting at firefighters? Even if you've been wronged by the police and hate the police, if somebody commits a crime against you who looks a certain way, wears a blue uniform, just like skin color. And are you just going to shoot another random cop because some cop beats you up? This is how you get anarchy. And um, it's a psyop. We're all being played off against each other. And this broadcast is all about stopping that. It's all about getting outside the box, seeing the big picture. You don't have to believe what I say or what I think's going on. A lot of the time, I'm throwing out the pieces here. I don't know exactly what's going on. I know there's all the signs of the globalists through the federal government trying to divide this country and trying to destabilize this nation as a pretext for the national stability police force that the Rand Corporation and the Pentagon want to set up. I want to get your take, especially if you are in Missouri or in Ferguson, you go to the head of the line. Or if you're in another major urban area and have seen any looting that the media hasn't covered. Because there's some sporadic reports of that coming in. The way this is being hyped, why would they want to hype this? Why would they make the announcement right at dark or, you know, 8.03 Central? A, a couple hours after dark. Prime way to create hysteria. Prime way to exacerbate tensions. I want to get your take. Here is the toll-free number. one 800 259 9231 800 Two five nine nine two three one, and what is Ferguson diverting from? The giant amnesty legislation. The fact that the president's acting unilaterally. The fact that lawsuits been filed on Obamacare, saying he's overstretched his executive power. That ties into the whole immigration situation. Trying to destabilize Russia. What's happening with currencies worldwide? That's a two-part question for listeners. What's your take on Ferguson? How bad do you think it will get? Do you think our analysis is incorrect? We're just trying to state the facts here, what we see. 800-259-9231. But the way I look at it, it's like that old cheesy show, Dragnet. Dun, 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 just the facts. We're just looking at what's historically going on here, indexing it with past activities and the playbook of the globalist. And the fact that Delta Force is on the ground, time and time again, they will run psyops for the president. And they'll have psychiatrists behind the scenes, sociologists and anthropologists, and they'll tell the Delta Force as their mouthpiece what to go out and what to say and what to do. When they got rid of the FBI hostage rescue team and got rid of all the Lon Horiuchi and the rest of them at Waco, who came in to do the final deal? Delta Force. Who did Seattle? Delta Force. Did the little idiot anarchists, you know, flown in out of Oregon know they were part of a government operation? Well, we are paid by the government. We are protected. We don't work for the government. Yes, you do. So we're exposing all of this, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a replay of 1992 riots all over again that could really get out of hand nationwide and be used as a pretext to make the public beg for tyranny. And the epic photo that Joe Biggs got with all of the riot police with season's greetings hanging over them on Infowars.com photo. We need to get our watermarks on those and get those out on Infowars.com and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and all other transmission points. Robert in Michigan, Ben in St. Louis, Missouri, Clint in Michigan.
and a lot of others. Your calls are coming up. 800-259-9231. Live coverage from the ground in Ferguson continues. This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving, an in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what better way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years. Go to HarvestRight.com and find out how you can get your in-home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. Digestive health is key to wellness, and Pro-EM-1 is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a daily liquid probiotic that improves food absorption and supports weight loss by removing toxins from your system. Recommended by doctors, Pro-EM-1 is 100% natural, organic, non-GMO, wheat, soy, gluten, and dairy-free. Call us today at 888-611-8025 or visit Pro-EM-1.com to save over $25 on your order. That's 888-611-8025 or P-R-O-E-M-1.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Your house is dark, vacant. You must be gone on vacation for a while. Thanks for all the jewelry. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. I hear the train coming, it's rolling around the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in fools in prison, and time keeps dragging on. Ken, Neil, Robert, Ben, Clint, I'm going to all of you at the start of the next segment. This is a short segment. I want to get some of these clips out of the way that are so important. This just broke in the last few hours. It's online right now at Infowars.com as one of the top stories. And this only adds to the mounting pile of evidence that this is a federal psyop to get this out of control as a political diversion so Obama can get all his executive orders through. 
if they can get rioting breaking out around the country. The good news was the Justice Department got caught last year in Florida, or now two years ago, trying to get the Zimmerman thing going. They got caught by alternative media. <laughs> They've been caught trying to do that here. And now grand jury decision has come out. We've seen the aftermath. It's probably going to get a lot worse tonight. We've got reporters on the ground to cover it. And we now have two shocking clips that are up on uh, Infowars.com. Official. Obama ordered National Guard stand down during Ferguson riots. Unbelievable. Make the announcement at 8 o'clock at night, an hour and a half after dark. Have the police stand down. Demonize the First Amendment. Let a cop get shot. Let a citizen get killed. Unbelievable. Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder says National Guard was deployed to St. Louis, but was told to stand down in Ferguson by Obama administration. Since when is the governor not in charge? Remember, he wouldn't say he was in charge. Remember? Remember the governor last week wouldn't say he was in charge? The Ferguson mayor, James Knowles, says requests for National Guard were turned down. That's two officials. Do you want to use that word? Saying they were ordered to stand down. Clearly there's a stand down. How about you stand down shooting reporters and never stand down to looters or people shooting at you? I think that's illegal, by the way, to let people run around just shoot at firefighters and burn things down. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon stumbles on Ferguson responsibility question. ABC News, remember that? Yeah, Obama's running this whole deal, and they're, uh, they're tinker toying it. They're seeing if they can get an uprising going, which they can then be the saviors to. And the police and the citizens are being played off against each other. That's the PSYOP. That's why we can't let them start the civil war I've been warning about ad nauseum. Here's a lieutenant governor on Obama ordering a stand down. Why do we even have governors? Why do we have lieutenant governors? Why do we have states? Why do we have state police? Why do we have local police? Why do we have dog catchers? Why shouldn't everything just be federal? Because it basically already is. Here it is. Uh, uh, you know, declared a state of emergency almost a week ago. And, and mobilized the National Guard. And then they were kept away at the crucial time while Ferguson burned. Why were they kept away? Now, now my question is... Do you know that to is, be a fact? Well, we, we know that they were kept away because they did not come in and stop that from the get-go. They were deployed at other parts of the St. Louis region. In the city of St. Louis, Mayor Slay had them at a couple of different... Uh, I mean, a couple of dozen different locations I'm told, maybe other parts of St. Louis County. Why were they not in there at the first sign of an overturned police car or a smashed police car window with uh, a show of force that would have stopped this? And here's my question that the governor must answer. Is the reason that the National Guard was not in there because the Obama administration and the Holder Justice Department leaned on you to keep them out? I cannot imagine any other reason why the, the governor who mobilized the National Guard would not have them in there to stop this. Yeah, before that's right. That's what's going on. Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder. Let's go to the Ferguson Mayor James Knowles saying the request was turned down. Boom. Somebody's behind it. It's clearly the Obama administration. You can bet your bottom dollar. That's who's in control with the Delta Force of the whole situation. Let's go to Unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, uh, I know I've been on the con I've been on the phone in contact with the county executive's office. I know he has requested. I am requesting. Have requested uh, the National Guard troops to to come out uh, from the command post to help restore order along the business districts. Uh, we have not seen that. Uh, it's my understanding that the commander is out uh, in the uh, on the streets have requested this, and those calls have gone have gone unheeded at this point. So, at this point, unless we can get the current situation stabilized, uh, right now it doesn't appear that there's any end in, in sight, and we need to have the, the governor step up, give us the resources that he's promised from the beginning. He stated that he would have a strong response. The resources necessary would be provided. They have not been provided so far. We need that right now. Yeah. And guaranteed it's Obama. That's who is in control of the National Guard countrywide under the new Homeland Security rules. Governors are more vestigial. Uh, they could they could announce and, and, and reclaim their state power, but they don't. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Your calls are straight ahead. Infowars.com.
We're on the march.